Let's move on to the tetracyclines. Now, tetracyclines are very commonly used. They're broad spect spectrum bacteriostatic medications that are used mostly orally. Um, they move. They work both through gram positive and gram negative bacteria, and they may actually work with some protozoates as well. There's widespread resistance through two big major mechanisms. The first one is through a development of an efflux pump, and that's often seen. That's often seen in Proteus and the Pseudomonas species. And in fact, Proteus and Pseudomonas are quite interesting because they have multi-drug pumps. So they actually have these pumps that will eject a whole host of different medications. And the second mechanism of resistance is through ribosomal protection proteins that actually prevent binding, almost like a little shield around the uh, ribosome. The prototypical drug in the tetracycline family is actually doxycycline or tetracycline. Doxycycline is used uh, long term in acne treatment. It has a very long duration of act activity and it's relatively non toxic. It's also used in bronchitis, bronchitis prevention, and uh, leptospirosis. Minocycline is used almost exclusively in acne. Demeclocycline is useful in most infectious diseases and also has a bit of an antidiuretic effect. So if you go back to the uh, hormone lectures and the adrenal lectures that we had spoken about, you'll see that we talk about demeclocycline and antidiuretic hormone secreting tumors. Other medications like tigracycline are, have a broad spectrum of antibi antibiotic activity, and they're often used when tetracycline resistance has developed. Uh, we use it sometimes in MRSA and VRE as well. We also use it in patients who have beta-lactamase producing uh, bacterial infections, anaerobic infections, mycobacterial infections, and chlamydia infections. Remember that this particular medication is an intravenous use only, so it is not used orally at all. In terms of the toxicity of uh, tetracyclines, first of all, GI symptoms, and I think all tetracyclines are, are uh, suspect with this. Um, they have common but minor side effects. There is very rare episodes of life-threatening enterocolitis, but it's certainly there. Um, it does eliminate normal gut flora, so you can be prone to bacterial overgrowth syndrome and candidiasis. Now, fetal exposure to this medication results in dental enamel dysplasia. This is a common exam question. I do want you to remember this. So tetracyclines with uh, fetal exposure, dental enamel dysplasia. In terms of other side effects, you can get hepatotoxicity, like most antibiotics. Interestingly enough, you get Fanconi syndrome, which is a type of renal tubular acidosis. Now, these are in the outdated tetracyclines, but this question still shows up on exams. So Fanconi syndrome is associated with the tetracyclines. Other side effects can include dizziness, vertigo, and that's mostly with doxycycline. 